heading towards Icon Park. and its main centerpiece being the Icon wheel there, formerly known as the Orlando Eye. As on the way we've got the Pirate's Cove Adventure Golf. Just look at how well lit this is. It's 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 incredible, isn't it? It's all the way along the strip, the International Drive, you'll find lots of places like this. There's quite a few adventure golf areas. You got lots of little walkways in here. You go over the bridges over waterfalls behind waterfalls on the galleon and it's not just the, the how it looks during the daytime it's well lit as you can see for the night time as well so doesn't matter what time of day it is there's there's going to be something here for everybody great when you want to have a day away from the theme parks as well See what I mean about the theme? It's, it's it's so good, isn't it? So that's the tallest star flyer in the world, apparently. And um, that's all part of the new Icon Park. So that's probably the recent addition that's come there. And it stands out for miles around, as does the wheel itself. And there's the, the main centerpiece, the Icon itself. And it will go through various different colors as does the star flyer. And they have a fountain as well. And I think sometimes the, the fountain actually matches the colours of the wheel itself as well. Starfly goes through various different colour schemes as well. And they have an express train. This is, a, this is a beautiful area now. This is once the area of the Mercado Mediterranean village. And I think they've kind of equaled it really now. It's, I mean, it was sad when they pulled that one down and then it lay bare for many years. But they, I think they've done a very good job when the new people took this over and rebuilt this. Lots of sports bars, lots of places to eat. Mm -hmm. 
I think this is AstroTurf underneath here. So it's always green all, all year round, doesn't need cutting at all. That's on the entrance there. Sea Life on one side, Madame Two Swords on the other. And the Ferris wheel, icon Ferris wheel right in the centre. Very popular at night time. Not too. I've not ever seen too many people here, and then that goes for the same along the whole of International Drive itself. So unlike the theme parks where it's swarming with people, this is uh, this is a lot less, and it's just quite nice. Maybe, maybe a few more people would be quite nice. But apart from which, I quite like it. Walgreens. Yeah, they've got a Walgreens as well. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Are you going to buy them? Okay. These seem to be four for four dollars. I was going to get a couple. A couple okay. of ones to just like just under four dollars. Okay. Uh huh. Did you want the grocery bag? No, it was just it was. Just, I just wanted one of those if they had one. I'll have a quick look at these and see. No. No. Hmm. And just for anybody that's never been to a Walgreens before, if you live in the States, then you're most likely to have gone into a Walgreens, but otherwise if you're outside. Uh, this is what they look like. Pretty in, uh, in the UK, we've got... Some, actually, it's different again. We were going to say in the UK, we've got boots. And I think this is running parallel with boots, or they they own boots. I'm not sure. I think I, I read somewhere there long like they do. Got lots of food produce in here as well. They've got uh, pharmaceutical bits and pieces. They actually have a pharmacist on site as well. Yeah, lots of food. There's these cards down here. Be I, I say beachwear, although we're not close to the beach, but I think you know what I mean. Different things that you can wear around the theme parks. Lots of snacks, hundreds and thousands of them. Baseball caps. Sun there's sunglasses somewhere along the line. Suntan lotions, biscuits, candies, sweets. Yeah, this is their range of candies down here. Now, it's not often you see me on camera. But I can see why as well. So yes, now heading into the main building of Icon Park. This is where you've got uh, three of the main attractions here. But down this end here you have the entrance to the Sea Life Centre. Originally built by Merlin, I'm not sure if it's still owned by Merlin, I think it's not, I think it's been bought over now. You find a similar thing, I found a similar thing in Blackpool. Um, it kind of works on a pretty similar basis. Uh, also together with a Madame Two Swords. And instead of the, the wheel, they have the tower complex. Inside the, the actual wheel, when you go on the actual ride itself, before you do, part of the package is a 3D experience just beforehand. 3D, or they call it a 4D experience. And it lasts for a few minutes before you actually go on the the wheel itself. That's the oh that's the that's the gift shop for the for the icon. Currency exchange over there. 
and that's where you pay and that's the entrance where that person's standing there into the icon right there we've got quite a few packages over there and they're not too expensive there's Madame Two Swords entrance here and just to the right where you can see those people they're standing next to a waxwork of Madonna they're very good inside as well I have been in there a couple of times and they're very very lifelike and you can stand right close up to all of them and have photographs taken with them pretend that you've been with a celebrity so this is the this is the main desk for all the attractions, the ticket desk for the attractions, this is the place where you come to. And there do you uh, either for single rides or complete packages. Over this side you've got, uh, an, it's, it's called a 70 dark ride, it's a simulator of sorts as you can see. You obviously sit in the chairs and they move around all over the place to a film that's showing in front of you. 70, eh? You've got seat in here that because we have a, as you can see over the back there, a food court of sorts with various different types of food. So once you're through the 3D cinema experience and then you're, it's not a very long wait to get onto the ride then. And as you can see they're extremely slow moving. If there are any disabled people watching this and are a little worried they will actually stop the ride completely to allow you on and off you just ask them and they'll do that for you there's no problem at all but as you can see under normal circumstances there is no problem with anybody walking on and off the ride at all they're, they're that slow from the outside it doesn't look like the wheels turning at all you have to look at it carefully to see that It's mostly standing room there, but there is that little seat right in the centre there. You can sit down if you so wish. But the views are incredible. It's 400 feet high. No, 420 feet high. Thank you. And of course, it'll give you panoramic views all over Orlando. Oh, Can't see anything now, so. Probably enough room inside one of these gondolas for about 10, 10 or more people. So we've just started on our ascent now and we have a fair way to go yet before we reach the summit. Seem to have a light show, don't they? A disco light show here for you. It's made of, I think, thousands and thousands of LEDs uh, that reflect 
all over the, the ride itself. And the same as this over here, the Star Flyer. So we actually get to see that at a different angle as well. slingshot right in the middle there you can see that the multicolored slingshot and this is all international drive down on the left hand side here up that way if you keep going up there onto the right hand side is downtown Orlando and down here you've got Slew's mystery dinner show Chinese buffet, restaurants, Charlie's Steakhouse, just come into view now down there. Apparently 65 miles per hour the riders experience on this gigantic chair plane right here. Starflyer, tallest Starflyer in the world. See so, what I mean? You can hardly see it moving. Look carefully and you can see it moving. Not very fast, is it? Takes roughly about 20, 25 minutes to do a full rotation. Universal Boulevard that runs adjacent to International Drive and eventually crosses International Drive at the top. Carries on into Universal Studios. center down there We're about at the top now possibly you're at the highest point now in International Drive yeah they are right over I saw them going so that could be it could be the Magic Kingdom. What time is it? Mm. Don't know. I just could be Fantasmic. Yeah, that might be. No. No. This is all the entrance where I came in earlier on. They've got the fountain down there, the astroturf area. You can see that the shaped astroturf area looks very different from here, doesn't it? Mm. 
It's not a fast ride, it's not a thrill ride, it's an observation wheel. Back outside now we're this is one of the sports bars. There's several of those along the strip. They're quite big as well. This is the newest addition to the Icon Park area, and that's the Star Flyer. Reputed to be the tallest Star Flyer in the world. I think it might be joint equal to others because I believe I've seen others of similar size and I think as long as they're the same length you can call them all the, the tallest starflies in the world. Yes, 400 feet to the top there. And the ride spins you around at 65 miles per hour. Actually, looking at the size down here, I can actually believe it. These are wonderful, look at these. They're on swings, swings and balloons. All to do with flight. This is all on the perimeter of the star flyer. Obviously depicting the star flyer itself, the actual swings on there, like that would be pretty unsafe. Uh, you know, swing just like that without being strapped in. And they're off. Goes through various different colour schemes. This one's obviously going on the multi-colours. I've seen it stop on particular colours or no it, it does all sorts of patterns and things like that as well I've seen in the past. So although it kind of looks gentle, it's this is classed as a thrill ride, uh, probably a white knuckle ride. It would, it would feel quite scary being up there. Uh, if you don't mind heights, great, but you're being swung out at 65 mile per hour, 400 feet up in the air, looking at the surrounding, well, looking at the surroundings of International Drive in Orlando. Apparently you have to keep your eyes open. I can handle that down 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 lower, possibly even that height, but right the way up there, ooh, I don't know. It's gotta to wait to slow down before they can lower the sections, otherwise they'll be landing on the fencing around the outside and that wouldn't do would it well they seem to have uh, enough chains on there so my thought is what if one of the chains goes and I guess that just one of the chains would go, that's about it really. There's there's enough there holding you up. But it still looks dangerous to me. I'm 
I'm sure it's a very, very popular ride for a lot of people, as you can see. Over there. I'll do it over that one. I'll wait now. We'll wait till... I was going to go straight the way over, then you cross along there. Yeah, okay. Go your way. No, I have to wait now. <laughs> wait till it stops first. It'll probably take you a week or more to discover what's here. So crossing over, we've got more restaurants here. back over the other side of the road you can see there's a multi-story car park there as well and that is free parking over there anybody interested free parking there's an i ride trolley running over the back there and this is just one one area along the strip You know, the whole of the, the area is well, well and truly illuminated. That's the quality. No, the what I call the old quality. Is it the Rosen Inn behind there? Used to be the, the old quality in there. And another themed restaurant here. It seems to serve just about everything that you want, by the looks anyway. Passing an I ride stop here. Here we go. I love all the theming and it's so well lit at night it looks lovely during the day and it looks something else during the night time as well yeah, they make good use of lighting I must say Very hot here at the moment. That's a link stop as well. As they also often share links, often share the stops with I ride. This is the other side of the Saltgrass restaurant. Again, it's quite heavy on its theming, which is really, really good. And you find that a lot here, not just simply along International Drive, but surrounding areas as well. It's going through its multicolour phase there. And that's your main main walkway into the park. So at one time it used to be the Mercado Mediterranean Village all over there which is quite popular about 15 years ago and then they uh, they demolished it for whatever reason and it's laid bare for many years after that so when talk came of building a, a completely new park everybody got quite excited but you wonder just how it's going to look but it, I think it turned out quite nice actually And even along this area, you can see it's there, there's lots of wonderful lighting along the way. It's quite mysterious, isn't it? It's quite magical, is more the word. Yeah, it is quite magical. Thanks very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour into Icon Park, Orlando, along the International Drive Strip. Do subscribe so you're up to date with all my latest uploads. And I will see you again very shortly on YouTube. Cheers, bye.